what's up everybody welcome back to the channel so for those that do watch my videos you know that I don't usually go after the bird species very often um, although the other day I did go after the gray light -like goose and I got myself a diamond well today I decided to hop on Australia and I'm gonna be going after the magpie goose not too sure if that's really how you pronounce it but uh, I did do a setup here I'm gonna show you quickly so here at this little island that sticks out further well I did bring a tent got a layout blind and I got about uh, 15 decoys placed and today I am bringing out this semi-auto 10 gauge with the bird shot obviously and I did bring the 12 gauge pump as well just in case or maybe try to do a comparison of the two but enough with the chit chat I'm gonna send out a few calls I did back up the time to five and uh, I'm gonna give this a try now I do have some that decided to come in although they all look like a bunch of females that I'm able to spot and judging by that it says they're 70 to 100 yards out which isn't really good I thought they would come in a lot closer so I'm gonna zero it it in for 82 I'm not too sure if I actually got any. One other thing that I did forget to mention, seeing the fact that you're coming into crocodile territory, uh, I would recommend bringing something to take them down. Although, I, al I already picked up one, here's another one. So like I said, the only ammunition that I brought with me was the birdshot and I'm actually surprised this is my second one that actually folded back I got a flesh with the 10 gauge bird shot at six yards and it brought it down well I just got a bunch that just landed right here and I did actually spot out a level four so let's get on them that was a hit don't know if that one's going to pile up or not. Uh, it's starting to get out there. Uh, her health has not been not dropped yet. But let's go ahead and claim these ones. I think I got three. Got another one there. Oh, I definitely got more than three. One, wait. One, two, three, f four, and five is coming in. And that was all with the 10 gauge. Got the middle neck on this one at 22 yards. This is a gold level 4. What do you need for a diamond? 3.85. Oh my, that's a good size gold. 3.65 he scored. And this was a level 3. Got the middle neck as well at 24 yards. That was a female. Uh, here's another male, level 3, 23 yards. Uh, level 3 female. I believe that's all of them. Oh, actually I missed one. Another female. Uh, this one I got at 86 yards. I do have some more coming in. Did spot out another level 4. I think there's actually two level 4s out there. Alright, they're out in range again. I don't know why they're so far out. Let's try try the uh, 12 gauge this time. Probably am going to zero, zero it in for 82. Whoa, they're quick. And hopefully they do pile up. Not too sure how well I see the one dropping there. What about this one here? Another one just dropped in the water. I actually got one floating here. Actually, the two, two of them floating. Let's get out and claim these two. Hopefully, the one of them are the level fours. Uh, this is a level three female. Uh, this one here is a level 4 male. 3.66. S 
almost just as big as the other one. Actually, this one, I think it's actually bigger. I might as well get back into my blind. I'm not going to wait for these to come in yet. Send out a few more calls. I do have another flock coming in. I did spot out a level 4, which is there. So let's get on him with the 10 gauge. Not sure if I actually made connection. Hopefully I did. The other two finally made it over to me, so let's go ahead and claim these two to see what they were. This was a level 3 male. And a two minor female. I got this one twice at 62 yards. I believe I had two flocks coming in and they're actually not landing together. They're all bunched up. I'm going to try the 12 gauge again. I'm going to say they're about 50 or 60 yards out. I think I see two of them piled up in the water. There's one, two, and a third one just fell. Not too sure if I got more. Well, they finally made it, so I got th three of them. Uh, level three male, 65 yards. Got this one right in the skull. Uh, got a flesh, another level three male. And another level 3 male. Got this one twice. Do have some more coming in. I did spot out a level 4. There's a female right there. Where are they? Alright, let's get them. She's hit. I think she's actually going to get away. Hopefully I did uh, nail that level 4 though. And by the looks of it, I think he's the actually the only one that I did uh, connect with. In fact, I did. Got a flesh at 41 yards. I believe I got two females coming in. I think what I'm going to do is get on them with the 12 gauge here. And smoke them both. So I have been waiting for a couple of minutes. Uh, been calling non-stop. Haven't uh, got a response. So I might as well go ahead and claim these two females. Uh, got a flesh at 27 yards on this one. And got another flesh at 27 yards. Now judging by both shotguns. 12 gauge does a good job. Obviously the 10 gauge does an amazing job. It all depends on their range as well, which is going to affect. Now I do notice that uh, they are pretty tough and they're not going to drop like a like a duck. That's for that's for sure. But uh, definitely still quite the hunt, but I'm going to keep trying. Well, this isn't good. Oh, okay, you're fleeing. Perfect. Because I happen to actually noticed <laughs> Even if you're in your blind, uh, you can still get attacked by uh, the crocodiles. It did happen earlier. Now, I did set the time back to 5 in the morning to try it out. And I had a small flock come in, but they didn't actually land. Uh, they got alert. And they just decided to fly off. So, I don't know if it's because I got so much hunting pressure here at the moment. Uh, that could be the case. I'm going to keep trying, but uh, this ain't looking good. And to be honest, I think this is actually a first for me to see a hot air balloon starting to fly over. I don't, uh, like I said, I don't uh, recall uh, seeing this before. 
Well, I got a few coming in, and the only one that I did spot out was a male, was a, only a two minor, but I'm definitely going to take them. Oh, how did that miss? Did I get it? I saw some splashing in the water over there, but I'm not too sure if it was one that fell or if it was just my uh, bird shot. I think it was actually just my bird shot. Well, these two are already here. Let's go ahead and claim them. I uh, got the female at 32 yards. And this was the two minor male. Well, folks, on that note, I actually think that's going to be a wrap for the clip. I think I actually have to deal with the hunting pressure here. I had a couple flocks came in. There was one female that came, landed in the water. The second female was about to land, and then she just took off. And then the one that was in the water took off as well. I just had another flock fly around and it said that they were alert and then they went into defense uh, mode so like I said I think I ha actually have to uh, deal with the hunting pressure here because I already had hunting pressure here before I started so uh, by taking uh, a bunch of geese down well obviously it didn't help but I'm definitely gonna have to do this again and for sure the 10 gauge bird shot is a go too and the 12 gauge as well is a go I definitely be bringing these back out I may try the 20 gauge uh, semi-auto next time although that one only holds three shells uh, that's what I do find about the 10 gauge semi-auto it does kind of lack a couple of shells if it had uh, six shells in it I think that would be perfect but it is what it is and like I said before it all depends on their range as well as uh, how, how far they're out. Obviously if you're getting out to like 80 some yards well it's not going to have as much uh, takedown power because these guys are actually pretty tough as you can see. But like I said that's going to be a wrap for the clip. For those that watch my videos I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys all next time. Mm -hmm.